On this week's weekly video fishing forecast, we have all the upcoming events for the weekend. I have the latest on pond stocking information from around the island. Kirk Fay has his top three go-to lures and our correspondents check in from around the island. All here at thefisherman.com. The Fishing News is sponsored by these fine partners. Today is Thursday, March 24th, and this is the Fisherman Magazine's weekly video fishing forecast. Let's start off with the upcoming events. Freeport Marine Supply is having their 83rd anniversary sales starting this Saturday, March 26th, and the sale continues through April 10th. Storewide savings are up to 20% off, and a free roller and paint tray with bottom paint will come with the purchase. Also on Saturday, contributor Paul McCain is holding his saltwater fly fishing expo at the Radisson Hotel. 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. The fishermen will have a booth at the event and I will be speaking about warm water opportunities as well. The big sale continues this weekend at Marine Made in Windenhurst. Get the best prices of the year on bottom paint and your boating needs. Then on Sunday, there's a fisherman's flea market in Babylon Village at the Hibernian Hall. Bring the kids and check out uh, the Sport Fishing Simulator. The show is from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. I've gotten reports from several anglers that the ponds from Nassau to Suffolk have been thoroughly stocked with a mix of rainbow and brown trout, one of them being Mike Adio, who had several nice brown trout in Suffolk. I was able to sneak out for a couple of evenings and was able to get in on the action as well using both the fly and spinning rod. My, for fly, my choice was an olive woolly bugger while spinning was used with a Castmaster lure. We are expecting another stocking very soon. More details to come next week. Janet Messino from Martha's Vineyard is a surf caster and the author of Casting Into the Light, Tales of a Fishing Life. On Thursday, March 31st from 6.30 to 9 p.m. at the Mattituck Law Library, she will speak about the midnight and early morning tales contained in her book and the profound sport and art of surf casting on the small legendary island of Martha's Vineyard. You'll hear how she became a world-class sportsman at a time when few women fished and how to get more women involved in the sport. Contact the library at 631-298-4134 and register if you would like to attend. With the spring right around the corner, we continue to check in with local anglers and their top recommended lures. This week, we check in with Kirk Fay from Blue Point. Kirk. All right, if I only had three lures uh, fishing my home waters of the Great South Bay, I'm going to show them right now what they are. The first one by far um, is a lure that I've caught more striped bass on than any other lure that I fish. This is basically something very simple. It's a six-inch white pearl tsunami swim shad. Okay, there are three different kind of applications on how to fish them inside the bay. The first one is the open bay where there's not much current. Okay, when there's not a whole lot of current, there's not a whole lot to do. Just cast and use a steady retrieval um, back to the boat. When you're fishing rips, always remember bass will face into the current. So you're going to want to cast up current. Okay, so you want the fish to come back right towards face to face with them. Always keeping the line tight enough to where it's just not doing this in the current. Another way to fish this is really how I learned how to fish these is at night. Okay, when you fish these at night, you need to slow your retrieval down to where it's almost painful. You're going to almost bounce it off the bottom um, and you're going to adjust as the current adjust the speed in which it's moving, but you want to keep this lower down towards the bottom of the water around the, uh, the bridge abutments and everything. So the swim shad absolutely is, is a must. Next up, okay, we're going to look for bluefish. You can see this is a very simple cotton cordell. And what I actually love probably one of the most things about this, it's $8. How wonderful is that in this world? Um, I remove all treble hooks. Because I, don't, I have no desire to keep the bluefish, so I'm okay not catching one on every cast. Uh, what I put on the end of this, this one's all rusted out, so I'm going to change this. This is just an open eye hook. Before I got on video, I used my pliers to open up the eye. You would literally just take the hook off, switch it around, and what you're going to do is you're just going to put a new one on, and then you would just take the pliers and tighten that up so the hook 
won't come off. You're gonna wanna make sure you have a few of these in your tackle box because believe it or not, they can be ripped off by the bluefish. We're not talking in the springtime about snappers. The biggest bluefish I've caught in the bay so far weighed in at 17 pounds. That, that's quite the brute. You could see what the bluefish does to the lure. And now you're probably wondering, what is this guy doing with this giant leader? I wrote an article last year in the Fisherman Magazine, okay? This is about anywhere between 150 and 200 pounds. You're not gonna be able to see it, but there are all nicks along this. If you're using 40 pound test, you're gonna lose it. This has lasted me, this is going on year number three. I just crimp it to this. One of the most wonderful things about this is, unless I'm gonna take a photo of a bluefish, I don't want it in my boat. So that means I wanna use my de-hooker. You could wrap your hand because it's so thick, the line and just use the de-hooker to take it off. If you attempt this with braid, uh, I don't have to tell you what's gonna happen. And even worse, if you attempt this with wire leader, uh, you're in for a world of hurt. So take a look at this thing. And when I'm done with the season, all I do is clip it off, and then I just hang it in my closet like this for the next season. So that's just the Cotton Cordell, very aerodynamic. It's got a little rattle to it, and you're gonna have a blast watching those big babe bluefish blow it up. Okay, now we got we have stripers, we have bluefish. There's one more other fish that is highly targeted besides fluke. We won't talk about that today. A weak fish. They've made a tremendous, tremendous comeback. I was never on the island back in the glory days when weak fish were 10 plus pounds. But the good news is from New Jersey up to Rhode Island, we've seen a huge um, amount of weak fish return to our waters. This little guy is probably my favorite thing to use. This is a Ron Z, all right? It's the smallest one they make. I do believe it's a quarter ounce. It catches a lot of fish, but there's one little issue with it. We're fishing in waters that have blowfish. We're fishing in waters that have snappers, okay? They're gonna, they're gonna put a hurting on this, and after a while, it, it does get expensive. I know a lot of people with gulp and everything, it's the same thing. I think gulp works great, but when you got those toothy critters, it, you know, it, you're going to lose a lot of these. So I'm going to show you one more. I know we were only supposed to show three, but as an alternative to that, when you do have toothy critters around, here's a Z-Man. And what makes Z-Man so special? Check that out. That thing holds up. And believe it or not, you may not believe it, but, you know, I've had days where I've caught 30, 40 weak fish and used the same exact lure, the same Z-Man, the entire day. So if you only had three lures to fish the Great South Bay, these are the three lures you definitely want on, um, on your rods. And, um, you know, any questions, you could always contact me and uh, uh, let me know. And um, that's that. We have a new addition to our team of correspondents, Alyssa Sussman of Cannonball Sport Fishing Charters out of Massapequa, who is currently down in the Florida Keys, gave us a report. Alyssa. Hey Matt, I'm down here in the Keys and the sailfish bite is amazing. We're on Sea Seniority at the Charters with Captain Casey. We hooked up on one already. We lost one and it looks like they're trying to go for another one. So I'm going to get back to it. Nice talking to you. Now let's check in with Captain Timothy O'Rourke from Montauk. Tim. Thanks Matt. Well greetings everybody from Montauk. Again, you know, beautiful week. Spring's really coming along. Uh, we should be seeing some fish here shortly. Uh, fishing out here in Montauk, mostly it's just freshwater. Uh, a bunch of guys, Chris Albranda, he's been catching a lot of freshwater fish. Uh, a couple other guys have been doing the same. So that's pretty much the game we've got going on here in town. Um, we're starting to see a lot more ospreys, still some gannets around on the south side. So we should see some bait moving in pretty thick here shortly. Um, Jimmy Krug, he was down in Key West. He was banging out some blackfin tuna. Uh, he was doing pretty good. He just finished up from a vacation, so I'm sure he's gonna be back up here getting his boat ready uh, to start his charter season. Um, a lot of other stuff's been going on here. Last week, I did my first um, sage rod demo day. I did this with Montauk Brewing. It was Sunday afternoon, and you basically came down, cast some fly rods, get a free beer at the brewery, try out some really nice sage rods. And I'll be doing that again on uh, Sunday, April 3rd from 2 to 4. And then again the following Sunday, which is, I believe, the April 9th. Um, and exciting news about that is Sage Fly Rods is coming out with a new fly rod. It's called the R8. Hopefully for the April 9th uh, cast demo day, I should have that rod available. Hopefully we'll see. They're going to be released on April 5th. 
So hopefully I'll have those in play. Um, again, I'm heading down to Mexico April 16th. I'm going to be down there for 10 days. Should be doing some good reports while I'm down there. And hopefully by then I'll have some striped bass reports. Um, this weekend, Paul McCain is doing his Fly Fishing Expo. That is at the Radisson and Hop Hog. That is on Saturday the 26th. And a final note, uh, Montauk Fire Department and the Montauk Friends of Aaron and everybody else, they're doing their St. Patrick's Day Parade this Sunday. So if you're out in the area, say hello, and I'll see you then. All right, thank you, Matt. Let's check in with Mike Dean from Shinnecock. Mike. Thanks, Matt. Hey, everyone. Well, we're really getting into that spring season. They're not here quite yet, but there are some holdovers back in the bay. Uh, white perch as well, kind of the same as last week, but with warming waters, a few more of those holdovers have, have kind of shown up. So ospreys are here. Haven't seen, you know, the same as last week. I haven't seen any of that, you know, have had a bunker in their talons, but um, they're around. So it's all coming together. Uh, definitely, definitely worth a shot with some soft plastics. I'm going to try on, uh, try this weekend. So Hopefully, fingers crossed, something happens. If not, soon enough, we'll be into them. All right, have fun this weekend. Hopefully, catch them up, and I'll talk to you next week. Back to you, Matt. From Northport, we have Mark McGowan from Cow Harbor Bait and Tackle. Well, we're really busy at the shop doing service work. Been working late nights, getting out all this uh, rod and reel repair work, uh, new builds, you name it. We want to get it out on time. We're so close. The season's going to start pretty soon. If you're uh, fishing from the beach, um, Definitely, we've got bass in the back areas. We're watching these warm temps. It's really doing great things to get the fish stirring. Again, the fresh water scene is nice. Uh, we've got trout, sunnies. Uh, the the smallmouth bass have really been very active. So there's a lot to do if you're a fisherman. Get out there, practice your cast. Remember, check your guides, check your reels. This is that time to get the service. Bring it in before you're all backed up. Uh, we stay like pretty late. We work really hard. There's a lot of stuff that comes into our shop because I guess of our quality of work, of course. It's a family business. You always get money back and customer loyalty points. And remember, this is, uh, we're coming up on that $500 free raffle for um, that custom round. I'm going to build 500 bucks worth. That's a lot of money. And it's for free just for spending your money that you might have spent somewhere else. You spend it here, you get hooked up. We really, really appreciate everything everyone does for our family business. Until next week, I bid you peace and tight lines. With our Fly and Freshwater Report, we have Paul McCain from River Bay Outfitters. Hello, Matt. Well, beautiful weather. And where am I? I'm trapped behind my computer because uh, I've been working so hard with, uh, Kenny and I have been working so hard for this Fly Fishing Expo that's coming up this uh, Saturday uh, at the Radisson in Hot Park, nine to four. It's going to be a terrific show, but it just takes up a tremendous amount of time because I had to get all the best fly tires and all the best people in the industry from Long Island area there. Uh, it's going to be a terrific show. Now, as far as the fishing goes, the, the Florida Fly Riders had a banner day on Monday. It was a super nice day. Fish were caught left and right. They all had a terrific time. Uh, I'm getting photographs from everybody that was there, sending me pictures with you know with the fish. Uh, it's it's really has been really good. Right now, it's getting very. Everybody should realize everything's been stocked. It's still you can go other places. You don't have to go just to connect what all the ponds have been stocked already, and just and also and also uh, the streams. And the Carmen's going to be opening up in a little over a week. It's going to be a terrific time. Uh, as far as the soul water goes, not only am I hearing of stripers in the western part, I'm seeing photographs. People will be coming in. Catching stripers in Jamaica Bay. My guess, Little Neck is going to start showing up any day now, if not already. Uh, as far as I'm planning on after the show when I can get away, I plan on hitting the local bays right by my house because this warm weather is going to start bringing them back in. Um, and I, I just, I'm so excited about it. I'm so excited about the show because all the good fly tires are going to have terrific flies. L and Mike's going to be there. Rise Rods is going to be there. Uh, you got to come. It is the place to be. It's, and it's only $10. Plenty of parking, and there'll be casting demonstrations, and you could go out and try some of the nice rods that are out there. Uh, so this Saturday, 9 to 4, Radisson Hotel in Hop Park. It's $10, 
anybody 18 and under is free as long as they're with an adult. And, uh, you know, it's, it is cash. Please bring you the $10 bills. All right. But see you then. Until uh, the next week. Tie lines, everybody. Raul Ortiz, the Urban Angler, checks in. Raul. I've been out a few times. Uh, it seems like a lot of fish are waking up in the rivers uh, and in some of the back bay areas. Um, but fish are being caught anywhere here around the city. Uh, Hudson River, East River, uh, Staten Island, Long Island Sound. Uh, pretty much all around I'm getting good reports. I have my own reports um, and we've been doing good too. And uh, pretty much all on lures. No bait has been used. Um, even though I do see some guys uh, doing some reports. Uh, and uh, they're catching a lot of fish on blowworms. Uh, anyway, um, anyway, things are going to be turning on any day now here. I, um, New York City. Um, as you can see uh, from some of the reports down the, the coast. Um, fish are making their way out of the rivers and heading up north. Captain Mike Sentry has the latest from Staten Island. Thanks, Tim and Matt. Hope all is well, guys. Well, guys, Mike Sentry here for Anglers of Legend Sportfish. 2022 season is upon us. We're looking at late March right now, and it's pretty much on fire. Raritan Bay, these bass are pretty much everywhere. I'm not going to go into specifics, but if you can't find bass right now, take up golfing. I'm going to give you guys a little tip on what to use out there. If they have a missed stock or not, always support your local tackle box, by the way. Zoom, paddle tails, 4 inch, 5 inch, uh, even the 6 inch, they work great. That's unscented. My favorite, though, is the 5 inch. Um, it's called the uh, Jerk Shad, scented by Gulp. The product works amazing. Let it hit down to the bottom and just retrieve it slowly. Do not let it sit at the bottom too long because you will get snagged and you will lose them. Once the water hits around 40, 55, 54 degrees around that area, I switch it up to a little bit bigger. Fish slabs also works very great for the larger fish. So the season is pretty much on fire, guys. I'm not gonna you know BS you guys. It's uh it's a lot of small bass out there. There's overs mixed in and there's slot size mixed in. So definitely keep your gear tip top shape. I wouldn't go out there no more than probably a 20 pound uh, fluorocarbon leader and uh, test out your hooks, your knots before you send the baits down. I uh, have my first chart of the season uh, this Saturday. Should be pretty much spectacular. Um, if we don't catch 30, 40 fish, you know, it's going to be a bad day. So I will be reporting back on that outing from Saturday coming up. So um, that's about it for me, guys. If you guys are looking for a charter, hit me up on Facebook and Instagram, Anglers of Legend Sportfish. If you guys need help in tackle equipment, any questions whatsoever, feel free to reach out, guys. I'm here to help everybody. So tight lines, and see you guys next week. If you would like to be a part of our weekly video fishing forecast, we are looking for social media savvy anglers for hyperlocal reporting from around the New York metro and Long Island area. So if you're a captain, tackle shop, or just an avid angler, contact Tim at libayrat at gmail.com. Remember to like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and tap on the bell to be notified instantly when we post a new video on YouTube. And of course, be a subscriber to the Fisherman Magazine to be part of the Dreamboat Contest and Coastal Kayak Clash. Check out this video's description on YouTube for all the related links and index for specific reports. Please support our correspondents by visiting their websites and social media pages. I will be down at the Fly Fishing Expo on Saturday. Hope to see you all there. Steigercraft boats, built by people who fish our waters. Serious English choose Steigercraft for their 40 years of boat building experience right here in the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic. Visit Steigercraft.com for a dealer near you.